Hi friends, my name is Ymir. I go by all the M&Ms here on Floss Tube and everywhere else. Um, it's been quite some time. So let's see if I am, well, I am a little rusty. So bear with me. Um, First things first, I don't even know what floss tube number this is. Um, it is a specific date in March. It is March 12th, Sunday, March 12th. Um, and I am just coming off of market. So I figured I would start fresh and create a floss tube and catch up with everyone um, because I went missing floss here. So I figured I would show my face and just catch up with some good old friends. Um, but yes, I don't know what floss suit number it is, but it is March 12th, 2023. Wow, three months into the year. Um, and yeah, I'm happy to be here. Um, I'm gonna try to make this video fairly short and simple and direct because a lot has happened within the past year. Um, specifically past few months so um yeah like i have a little bit of like things that i've like purchased off to the side that i want to share and a few like shop updates i do have a finish um i'm gonna see if i can probably save it for the end because I'm actually excited for that finish. Um, it was time. Um, I actually finished it um, towards the ending of last year um, and I just never showed it. So I think it's time to show it and I know there's gonna be a few people that are gonna be happy about it. I know there's one person that's gonna be happy about it because they gave me a lot of, what's a good word and not a bad word, a lot of rift about it um but yeah so let's get to it um so i haven't been stitching much in the past few months or even last year hence why i really wasn't much on floss tube and on instagram and all that good stuff and a lot of things happened like i said throughout the year so hence um my stitchy bug inspirational life bug was uh uh oh if you didn't know, my floors are uneven and I'm going to be sliding. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Um, let me see if I can like slide a little bit where I can like stay. Yeah. Um, yeah, my stitchy bug, inspirational bug was non-existent. So um, hence why I really wasn't here. I think it was the best decision for me to make. Um, in order for me to be present, I had to take care of me first um although it wasn't the best way of me taking care of myself but i kind of did it i sort of survive and i'm afloat um but let's start off with market because it's the most recent thing um we just came off of market this past weekend came back home on monday had so much fun fun i was able to see friends a lot of people that i haven't seen throughout the year or in a year since the last market that i went to i of course was um one of the exhibitors there which was my first market um this year which was so much fun i was able to have so many meaningful conversations and you know just like I said, catch up with people. And that was like something that was amazing, but it was also an extra step for um, m, &M, m Studio, um, mainly because I wasn't doing wholesale at all. And I figured I would just jump, jump into the sea and do it. And um, it was so much fun. But also um, during market, I had debuted Hopefully that's the word, debuted, debuted, um, a new look to m, m m Studio. And the main thing was because I had listened to all of you, everyone's feedback, um, and it was just mainly figuring out what was the best way to make sure that we can continue stitching with the same product and, you know, enjoying the floss and all that good stuff. And, um, 
I don't struggle making it and you don't struggle owning it. So one of the main changes, well, everything changed about almond oven um, for market. Sorry for the crinkling. Because I need to get this out of the bag. Uh, um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah, so the main thing with almond m ms was A, the logo changed. By the way, look at my shirt. <laughs> Athena made it for me from Stitchy Goddess, Stitchy Goddess Designs. Um, so, formally, we were all accustomed to, I think I pulled some secret colors but i can't remember i need to see because i pulled it from the stack but you guys won't tell on me right um so formerly they all came in little silk nuggets um and ideally for me when i first came up with the concept was because i wanted to do baby skeins and to me everything was just baby tiny baby tiny um but obviously you know, not everybody can wrap these back up the way it is. So, of course, I had to make changes. I wanted to make changes. And for me, specifically, I like when I make changes, I like to make sure that they're permanent and long lasting. And it took me a while to figure it out, but we did it. So here's an example. This is one of the skin tone collections. It's 1866 BT dubs. So they're now in floss drops, and this is what the floss drop looks like with the eel, my nails, don't look at them. Um, so this is what they look like. Um, they're floss drops, obviously, um, with the new logo, and then it's gonna have the name on the back and what ply, because, ding, 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 I'm going to be offering six ply and 12 ply for us high count stitchers thank you that was the purpose of all minimums to dye floss for myself but i never do so hopefully now i can share the beauty and the love and the reason why i wanted to dye floss by providing 12 ply and i think it'll be the easiest way to do it so I'll have that, but also if you notice, it's a little baby almond. So I literally took the almond from the old logo because this is what the old logo was. I don't know why am I so far, and I um, used it as the outline. So now you all have plus drops. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Um, and the way I wound them, wind them wound them well we because i had help um if you're into floss winding and if you wind floss for other shops or people can you let me know i need to figure this out but um yeah so i chose to not cut the lengths for you um just because i mean everybody's very different about how they like their lengths and i didn't want to um have anyone be committed to a specific length so did not cut the lengths um and left it like that so yes that was debuted at market um a lot a few shops have them which is pretty exciting um you would have to figure out who has them and if they don't have them ask them to have it um but yeah you said the ones um i was able to I forgot what I was going to say about that. But yes, so this is how they are now. Um, I, full disclosure, did for the first time ever, did um, shut down the website just for market preparations and all that good stuff, which means whoever, I'm caught up to all my orders up until February. Ooh, I do want to give you all an update about shipping. Um, Oh wow, some things do not change. I go off on tangents. Um, see, I'm forgetting everything that I want to say. Ah, um, man, I forgot. See, I'm trying to catch up on everything and then I forget and then I jump and I do this. La, la, la. Yeah. Um, man, I forgot. And then I'm sure as soon as I finish stop recording, I'm going to remember what I was going to say. But yes, so... 
uh oh yes i had to shut down the website obviously because i needed to prep for market and i didn't want to be overwhelmed which was the first time i closed the website since i've been open um should have closed it a long time ago given everything that has transpired throughout the year but that was that so currently if you go on the website it's going to be on vacation it's going to be on vacation until the ending of march um mainly because i would like to give shops um updates uh time to sell floss and all that good stuff but also i'm rebuilding the website and removing these and adding these to avoid any confusion on the photography which that means whomever ordered i'm caught up up until february so that means if you ordered from february till the ending of february beginning of Fe beginning of february to the ending of february that means that your floss is still gonna come like this because it is only fair to provide you what you ordered for so that's that um before i forget talking about shipping and all that good stuff i was actually talking about this with a few friends because i actually feel validated um i was telling a few people that um throughout the two three years that all men and has been open there's been a lot of shipping issues and primarily the issue has been I need to stop fidgeting primarily the issue has been and this is juicy this is juicy just so you know grab your tea um <laughs> primarily the issue has been that um we would pack orders and then we would leave it at the post office um and you know just drop it off and continue about our day um which i moved into this place Two years ago now so pretty much like three years um because it was happening at my previous place and it was just super frustrating because you know you send packages and then you're under the impression things are along their way and then come to find out like weeks later or months later you're getting an angry email or an angry you know instagram message being like where's my stuff or you know you didn't ship it like it says that it hasn't moved it says that the label was created blah 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 blah, blah. so like constantly i was in the um stage of like recovering and okay like would you like your money back i can file an insurance claim or let me send you a replacement yada 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 or sometimes like packages would just arrive like months or weeks or months later mangled so um and like opened up and like all this stuff so you know it happened in my previous place and then it started happening at my current place so i find i had gotten this one email we're all we're all in the same space right i had gotten this one email slash encounter that I really didn't appreciate because I'm sending and it's also like a loss on my part and it's also like I hate for people to think that you know like I disappeared with their money or whatever and if I owe you anything reach out to me I will make sure that we will make it right because I want to make sure you're happy um so it was just super frustrating so finally um recently someone reached out to me and was like hey um you know you you shipped something out and it says that it hasn't moved but it was scanned by the post office so of course me already being upset i prance myself down to my local post office which is literally a few blocks away from me um and i was just like i need to speak to the boss boss like i was literally like feral like <laughs> Because I was just fed up and I knew for a fact that this was a package that had gotten dropped off because it was like a large one. So I spoke to the postmaster there and, you know, they asked me a whole bunch of questions. What was in it? Like, what's the business? Blah, 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 blah. Like all this stuff. And this was like, mm, I can't even remember when. But towards the ending of last year, November, December 
actually it probably has had been november because december i was shut down completely um yeah, so I went there and I had provided all the information, tracking numbers, give examples. I was just like super frustrated because I was also venting that this happened to me in my previous post office, blah, 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 blah. And then, um, you know, like I, I really didn't think much about it. And then um, I would get like calls from the post office asking for like a few like updated details and questions about like the packages, like when did I drop it off? How do I remember who I handed it off to? Like all this stuff, whatever. Flash forward to towards the ending of the year, I go to the post office to drop some, no, actually to pick something up and I'm standing off to the side with the pink slip and the postmaster boss manager person is like i remember you do you remember me and i'm like yes hi like sorry what did i do he's like come off to the side i have a story for you and i was like oh okay like so we go off to the side and he's like um ooh, they are like uh, um i didn't tell you but you should look up your address and this keyword and this keyword and you would find some information that recently just happened. So of course, I automatically follow the, the nondescript instructions and lo and behold, here comes the post office. It is on the news. Um, huh? friends stop texting me lo and behold here comes the post office they are on the news for i guess a few employees uh have been stealing packages and i guess they i mean obviously it is a federal offense but they've been stealing packages and all that good stuff and um one of the confirming reasons one of the confirming things, I guess, was because I had complained that it happened at my previous post office and two or three of the employees actually worked at the previous post office and then the pattern was happening again at this post office. So I am super validated. The only thing is that I, I don't even know. I feel like one day I'm just gonna have to sit down and just go through line by line of all the orders at least from last year while I was on my sabbatical and just make sure that everyone has a tracking that says delivered or, you know, a new tracking that I may, may have created. So, um, yeah, yeah. Can you believe it? Um, I don't know why people would do that. I, I'm scared to go to jail and I mean, that's federal. So you won't be there for a while. Um, but yeah, I feel super validated. I do not feel crazy in a way um because it was just kind of like super frustrating and i didn't understand why and what was going on and then you know one of the main things that i was trying to do was just change from usps to ups or fedex and just kind of figuring that out and making sure that i didn't impact anybody financially when it came down to like shipping rates and all that good stuff so yeah fun fact that's what happened um Oh, that's what's going on. So I'm working on catching up on that. So if you're one of those long lost friends, let me know. Um, I was actually talking to Lynn um, a few weeks about it. And she was just like, yeah, the the original box. Because she had lost the box too. She was like, the original box that you sent me still hasn't moved. And I'm like, yeah, salty. <laughs> I am salty. Um, but yeah, so back to market and all the market fun um yeah so i we spoke about the floss drops tags and all that good stuff um i would like to show you i didn't purchase much because i was vending and all that good stuff and i really um i just wasn't in the mood for shopping towards the end um so i didn't really shop which that was probably a miss on my part but you know what we live and we learn sorry i'm organizing stuff and i have a little little tiny section um but i do want to highlight a few things that i came back home with um first things first 
Um, my friends, uh, Zan, crazy bad um, lady. Sorry. 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 Ah! Uh, crazy bad lady. Um, there's an ongoing joke, and it's not a joke, but um, an ongoing saying is that I'm not a Christmas girl, um, and definitely now I'm not a Christmas girl, or probably will never be a holiday girl, um, because it's just not not the best time of the year, but um, she actually bought, and I would always say I'm not a Christmas girl, I'm not getting a tree, don't have a tree, not interested in a tree, blah, 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 blah. Um, which is funny because last year I was like, oh, should I get a tree? And then things happened and I never got a tree and blah, blah, blah. So she bought me a tree. She bought me a tree. Um, it made me so happy. And it's a little kitchen. So, and then she's like, and then throughout the year, if you don't like it, if you don't want to like show the Christmas tree, you can flip it around. So I'm super excited about this. Um, you know definitely cute and it's gonna remind me of my friends um i don't know where she got it yeah i don't know where she got it so if you're interested let me know i can have her reach out to you maybe um or just say where she got it from but yeah um she purchased that for me and then um sarah from memphis sarah which she got sick and i wasn't able to see her but she sent me this with zan um she sent me a care package because it was obviously my first market um and she put a like really nice note in there but then she sent me some sunflowers kitty -de -de. um i love sunflowers and i love bees and all that good stuff and then she sent me this which is gonna be like a good bookmark um she did send me like a whole bunch of stuff but these were like the like stitching related things which i'm super excited about so she sent me these which are awesome i think you know especially with my me decorating my home hopefully eventually um i can like add these little things or even like in the like studio space of like almond m &Ms. um so i'm super excited about that another thing that i came back with um was something that bobby and athena purchased for me and super super shocked um obviously i like minis and all this good stuff so they purchased this for me it's like a little box i feel like i can fit my floss some needles and some scissors it's happening we're done it's happening this is gonna be my toolbox wait but then i don't want to mess it up but I got this. And then not only did they give me that, they actually bought me these two books, which are super cool. I love these. I've never had the chance to purchase them. So I'm super flattered and grateful that they purchased it for me. Um, so it's pretty much like one of the like vintage pattern books and these is how they used to come. Um, and they're kind of like accordion style, Ooh, you saw. And it just has like all the alphabets and all that good stuff. So I'm super excited about this. Um, thank you. Thank you. So that was that um, as far as like purchases and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, um, I did purchase like a few charts here and there, um, but nothing equivalent to what I would have in the past. Um, but, uh, those are still in my luggage, so I guess I'll show those one day or eventually. And then, um, I did want to, like, stop in and purchase some scissors, so I did that. Uh, let me, this is Victorian red. Um, three and a half inches, three and a half inches. So, of course, some red ones. And then I purchased some purple ones. Um, I feel like I purchased another one, but I can't remember. But they're gonna go with, I can't even lift it. I have like a little scissors frog situation. But that was that. Um, the reason why I was at market, like I said, was obviously to sell floss, but I shared a room with Brittany from Ingleside Imaginarium. So 
And that being said, Brittany made a chart of um, called Fox and Almonds, and it was an honor for us. Eh, I'm sliding. It was an honor of us rooming together. So she um, used all of my floss, which was amazing and it was awesome. Um, and she made a little fox and he's a redhead and I'm doing her spiel, just so you know. Um, he is a redhead, just like her. Um, and then these are um, almond flowers. Um, so yeah, so she actually used raven, calabasa, Bluebell. I can read it. Writer's chair. Yeah. So she used these. Look at it. Um, super fun. I would love to stitch this um, one of these days and really stitch it tiny. Um, I would like. To, I would have to look for the fabric or something like that. But super excited about that. I enjoyed rooming. I enjoyed rooming and sharing a space with her. Um, so peaceful. Fun fact. Um, she actually used to live in New York and I never met her when she lived in New York. I met her after she moved to New York and went back to um, Nashville, I want to say. I know she's in Tennessee. So, yeah, can you believe it? I meet a New York stitcher after they move out of New York when this whole time I've been struggling finding New York stitchers. Can you believe that? Um, so frustrating, but I'm so happy that I was able to meet her and we were able to, well, we met last year, so I'm happy I was able to meet her and we were able to bond and, and share space together, which was so much fun. And I met her mom. I now enjoy meeting people's moms, um, mothers, moms, um, mainly because I lost my mom last year and it was just not, I still haven't gotten over it and I don't think I can at all. Um, I was there when it happened and it was just not the best situation for anybody um, involved, especially because uh, the medical system sucks. Um, not everybody in it, but definitely um, it's just not, not not ideal so i feel like i've found a new appreciation to uh mother and daughter relationships and meeting moms and all that good stuff so um yeah i enjoyed meeting her mom her mom was adorable and so much fun um and very motherly um definitely that just took a turn so we will turn the boat around and talk about something else yeah. um so last year actually this was at stitch west um punky pearl heather was there and we had gone to where we go we went just shopping I went shopping with Stacy and we ended up purchasing fabric. Um, Punky Pearl makes these uh, project binders. Um, and I was like, I always wanted them, but I want something small for myself. So um, I asked her if she can scale down the measurements and she did and she made it for me. So look at this. <laughs> is it upside down? It is. Look at this. <laughs> and that's her, Punky Pearls. Um, so I'm pretty sure you've seen these and if you haven't, these are amazing. Um, I will make sure to tag her below. Um, so pretty much they are floss. Why do I keep saying floss? Project binders and for me they're small bleh, i forgot there was a note there they're small enough um for me to fit my projects so look at that but her original size is actually bigger this is just for me so don't worry about it um and you can it has like zippers doo -doo -doo. i think this is so genius and it's amazing and you can put things in there 
so excited. She also made me a bag. And she made it small too. Tee -hee, with the same fabric. Um, and then of course she gives you back your leftover fabrics. Unless you tell her. Which I'm pretty sure. I didn't tell her because she sent it back to me. So. But yeah. So I have this little nice set from Heather. I've been meaning to um, support my friend. But you know. Of course I have to do it in a small way. So I have these. Um, it's super exciting for me. Because. I guess I get to organize all of my projects that way and obviously I keep everything small um because it's me but yeah like for example this is let me just move this to the back nah. bear with me I'm just removing descript information so this is actually my current project bag. So I have some little bit of wax, some scissors, my floss, which this is the single ply, but now it's coming in 12 ply, same as that thickness. It's easier to handle because I mean, who wants to run around with a baby spool that's gonna like run on you? Needles, my um, project, but yeah, like I mean, the small binder works for me. <laughs> um, but yes. With that being said, I'll show you what I've been stitching. I stitched this one, um, I started this year uh, back in January and then I stopped stitching because my stitchy bug, blah, blah, blah. But yes, so I am stitching this beautiful chart from the Liz Matthews. Um, no, it's not the Liz Matthews, I'm just joking. It's from Hello from Liz Matthews. Um, but stitching this i actually showed it to her um i think her mom and her aunt also saw it but i showed it to her and because of course i am stitching it one over one 56 count so one over one 56 count excuse the uh hoop mark i had to frog so i like to put a hoop so i can kind of like open everything up and be able to like properly count and see since i can't trust myself but yeah, this is where it is. I actually made it all the way to the other side minus, you know, the little baby border. So that this is how wide it's going to be. Um, so yeah, and I would say the cue right here is kind of like halfway down. So yeah, I'm a little bit excited about that one. I've been putting in a few stitches here and there. So you see that the side down on the queue so almost halfway. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm going to take my time. Um, I also have a lot of things to do with the shop and making sure that you guys are all set for success uh, um, when shopping. So I definitely i am going to be putting in a few stitches for that. Then, uh, what else? Oh my God. I'm doing good. I'm actually supposed to go to work and I'm supposed to be leaving right now, but I'm not doing it because I don't care. I'm over it. Um, but I am going to go to work um, and it's going to take me longer because it's a weekend and the subway is annoying over the weekend, but whatever. Uh, what, was, what, what else I was going to say? I feel like there's a lot to talk about in such short little time and I didn't want to like overwhelm you all with a lot of information and all that good stuff so this is why i'm making it crunch short sweet and simple because usually i do hour long floss tubes but we can do a shorty um okay so i'm actually ready to show you i'm gonna use this as a back ah! oh i'm gonna use this as a backer so I've been working on this chart for a very, very long time, or on this stage for a very, 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 very long time. Um, and I didn't stitch it, stitch on it a lot because I just didn't want it to end. And um, eventually towards the time when I was finishing it, um, my mom actually wanted it. And I was like, fine, I'll stitch it. Like. I didn't want to give it to her, but I was like, fine, I'll stitch, I'll finish it. Um, and I ended up finishing it. Sadly, she didn't get to have it framed in her house. Um, but um, 
it makes me happy that I was able to finish it and move on to the next one. So, dun dun dun, are you ready? So, this is the Zimmerman coverlet. Ah! So, this is the Zimmerman, Zimmerman coverlet by Modern Folk Embroidery. Excuse the like yellow on the side. Should I do this? I'll do this. So I can have a good uh, clip. Just kidding. Um, what do I want to say about it? I mean, it was such a great and fun stitch. Um, I mean, I was on the right track in the beginning and then I was like, I love this stitch. I want to stop stitching it. And then of course, Zan was one of the people that was like, girl, you need to finish that stitch finished it and I never did because I was having so much fun but then I just went needle on fire and finished it um and yeah it's all I want to say it's my only 40 count stitch it's 40 count one over one um and yeah it's designed by Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery and it was inspired by um Ellen from El Poo um it was like her family like coverlet or something like that and that's what she made and of course i just realized because my friends get get at me and tell me about like new york sounds they decided to turn on the heat just now hmm? Hmm? i've been up for a while but yeah so look at it do you like it tell me what you think um i don't know how i'm gonna frame it I'm thinking of maybe framing it in either a gold frame to enhance the golds or a red frame. I'm not sure. But this is going to happen. I like to put tape on the bottom. Sometimes it doesn't fray because I was being lazy and I didn't want to um, search the sides. But I brought my serger out. But yeah, that's my finish. Doo -doo -doo. Um, finally finished it. Um, so... I'm definitely excited about that and I'm gonna have to find a new stitch um, but yeah that's pretty much it uh, a lot of changes are happening slowly but surely um, towards the ending of the month as I said the website is gonna be live and it's gonna have a new look specifically on the colors and you know drops and all that good stuff so enjoy the mini vacation because we're coming back very focused um, I have a lot of inspiration from last year and all that good stuff. My mom, full disclosure, was a colorist and I got a lot of my color inspos from her. So do expect to see a lot of things or maybe like hints that I'll expect to see a lot of hints that um, from my mom that will remind me of her. I don't think I'll share much of which ones to you all because I don't think you need to be reminded of that but it's definitely going to be a small nod for me um but yeah i have a lot of inspiration uh stored up um and i just have to kind of you know start putting it out there um so i definitely look forward to a fun year filled with colors and projects there's a lot of a few projects along the way which i'm super excited about um so definitely it's going to be a good year. Um, I, once we're caught up <laughs> post-market and all that good stuff, um, we're going to be, we're going to be more consistent about being here and obviously also stitching um, because I abandon everything, uh, my identity, my community, my everything for a while. But like I said before, I think it was the best thing for me to do. Um, because in order for me to be present, I had to remove myself for a bit. So I'm happy to be back. Let me know if you all have any questions, comments, concerns, and all that good stuff. Because um, I'm here. I'm here. Send me a message here, an email, uh, Instagram note situation, and we will figure it out because that's what we're here for. So. Aside from that, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. You stay warm if you're in a winter situation and you stay hydrated if you're not. But 
aside from that i hope you all enjoy your sunday and i will see you on the next one maybe let's see what the cadence looks like two weeks monthly maybe two weeks we'll see um we'll see i might be able to stitch a few i have to grab a flight tomorrow not packed at all so we'll see might get some stitching done and i'll have some stuff to show you all so bye